This is just a short review of our experience at the Liseberg Amusement Park in Jutiborg, Sweden. Like what I've said, it was our first time and everyone really had a wonderful time during this uh, tour. And we drove around the area because we thought that it was uh, that uh, easy to find a parking lot. But unfortunately, it wasn't that easy as we thought. But uh, eventually we were able to find a parking area and that didn't cost us that much it was just 77 norwegian crowns for almost six hours of parking so that uh, sounds great and again this experience was like we were in Paris Disneyland. We were amazed of the rides and the attractions and and it was our also first time to be at a place where there were so many people. It was like, oh my god, we, we've been to the Oslo Center. Uh, we have been to public places here in Norway, but it didn't had that number of people like we had experienced at the Liseberg amusement park. We also have an amusement park nearby and it's just 15 to 20 minutes drive but it doesn't give the same experience, the same ambience like what we got at the Liseberg amusement park. I will go through the best experience that that we we had. There is an entrance fee at the Liseberg Amusement Park. I will leave the link of their website in the description box because there are different types of tickets that you can purchase. So every information that you need is in their website. So upon purchasing of the entrance fee, we have to declare the height measurements of the kids because in every ride there are height restrictions. As we entered, it felt like we entered a Disneyland. We were impressed of the rides and attractions that we have seen. Since pandemic, it's the first place that we have been with so many people around. Face masks are not compulsory anymore here and it was impossible to maintain distance 1 to 2 meters from each other. So better be of good health when you come here. Your great immune system is your best defense and protection. The best attraction which I think is the highlight of all attractions here and if you are after the most thrilling, exciting and nerve-wracking experience in this place, have a ride on what they called Valkyrie. I'm not sure if I have pronounced it correctly but as I see the spelling of the word, I think I have done it right. For me, of all the rides at the Liseberg Amusement Park, it's the Valkyrie that is the ultimate one. Valkyrie is considered the Europe's longest dive coaster, a roller coaster with a vertical drop of 50 meters. Here is the fact about this ride. Just as you are about to go over the edge, the ride suddenly pauses. Before you plunge vertically into an underground tunnel at 105 km per hour. So you can think how fast, exciting and thrilling would that be. Here are some facts of the Valkyrie. It's a dive coaster. Its height is 47 meters, its length is around 750 meters, the drop like what I have mentioned is 50 meters including underground section, the maximum speed is 105 kilometers per hour, the number of passengers per ride, there are 3 trains with 18 passengers, the capacity is 1100 passengers per hour. 
Here are some of the criteria if you want to take the Valkyrie. This is for safety reasons. According to their website, to take part of this ride, all guests must be at least 132 centimeters tall and 7 years old, must be able to walk to the seat and be able to get in and out of the seat without assistance, have sufficient strength in the upper body to hold shoulders and head against the headrest during the whole ride, be able to hold on with at least one hand, and remove any prosthesis before the ride. Unfortunately, you are not able to ride Valkyrie if you have an amputation above the knee, if you have a cast, if you have high blood pressure, heart problems or back pain, and if you are pregnant. This is what you call Turbo. This is an interactive ride that puts you in the seat of a motorcycle sidecar and lets you decide for yourself when and how far you ride around and up or down. Of all the rides, this was the one that my kids and my husband were able to, to have a ride because the queue was not that long. Quick facts about Turbo, you need two coupons for each ride. The age limit is 8 years old and 3 years if it is accompanied by adult. The height of this ride is about 8 meters high and it can take about 600 people per hour. I had wanted to have a ride on the swing because I think it's uh, a nice adventure. I have done this before and it was also very thrilling and this one looks uh, so amazing but unfortunately the queue was so long that we didn't have time to stand in line for that long. This ride is what you called Mechanica. It is a mighty machine that combines high tech with sorcery, harking back to the sagas of old. Mechanica is an extreme ride that spins you 360 degrees around 3 axes, 30 meters up in the air. Quick facts about this ride. It's around 30 meters high. It will take around 3 minutes for the duration of the ride. The number of passengers per ride is 30 and there are 6 gondolas with 5 seats each. It can take 350 passengers per hour. It's uh, a star shape and for me it uh, looks really fun and also thrilling. You have to have 3 coupons to have a ride in this what you call mechanica. A ride at the Lisibarg wheel or the Lisibarg ferris wheel, it will give you a breathtaking view over the city and the amusement park. It is situated in the pleasure garden. Here are quick facts that you have to know about the ferris wheel at the Lisibarg amusement park. Copan, you have to have three included in ride pass maxi. The number of gondolas are 42, the height is 60 meters, and the weight is 275 tons. The number of seats is six in each gondola, which is a total of 252 seats. And that is my short vlog for today. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share this video to your family and friends. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you're always notified whenever I have new uploads. Bye!